What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a portrait illustration of Guy Fox from V for Vendetta. Now I want to begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we're gonna start from the very top. It's gonna to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now in the center, let's add another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then stretch that all the way across towards the right. Now we're just gonna use these two lines to help us block out the face. Let's leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. It's gonna sketch a line coming down towards the bottom. Now I wanna take that same distance over on the right side and do the same thing. Now we wanna choose a point down this line for the bottom edge of the nose. So we're gonna sketch a line going across. And then from the center, angle the nose going up and out towards the left and right side. Now we're gonna go back up to this top line, step down and sketch another line going across from left to right. And this is where the eyes will sit, just underneath this line. From these two points, we're gonna step down, angle the eye going up and then out. Now from the top of the eyelid, we're gonna step all the way out, curve the eye coming down and then bend that up on the inside. Let's go back to that inside point. We're going to curve this up and then out underneath that top line. Now from the outside corner of the eyes, we're going to step out, sketch a line coming all the way down the side of the face. And we'll take that same distance on the right. Now from the corners of the nose, draw a short line going up on the side of the nostrils. And then from here, we're going to curve the cheek. We're going to come down and then bend that up towards the outside line. Now from the bottom curve of the cheeks, we're gonna come down. It's gonna bend that down towards the mouth, towards the center. Go across and then bend that back up towards the right. Let's go to the tip of the nose, draw two short angle lines coming down and out on the inside of the mustache. Now from the center, step over towards the left, bend the mustache coming down I'm just gonna bend that up towards the cheek. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming down and then up. Let's trace out the lower lip from the corner and come down a little bit lower in the middle, go across and then back up. And then from the corners of the mouth, we're gonna bend the chin, coming down and then in towards that center line. Now from here, we're gonna add some shape to the jawline. Let's start from the outside of the cheek, angle is down and then in to right about there. Curve the jaw, coming down and then back in toward that center point in the chin. Now I want to go back up to the top, step out and draw the outside of the hair. So we'll start on the left side. Step out, bend this down, and then out towards the bottom of our page. Do the same thing on the right. Now I want to take the center line and bend it up towards the outside of the hat brim. So we'll start in the middle, just gradually bending that out and then up towards the side. And then do the same thing on the right. Now I want to connect the ends with a curve. We're going to go up in the middle, go across and then down. Now we want to line up the side of the hat with the side of the hair. So I'm just going to extend this line going up along the side. Let's connect these two lines with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Now from these two points, we're going to slope the hat going up and then in. With a straight line going up towards the top of the hat to right about there. And it'll close off the top with a curve going up and then back down. Now that we complete our rough sketch, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now I'm going to use this rough sketch as a guide to help me add some more detail and refine the shape. Now I'm going to start with the bottom edge of the hat. I'm going to start from the outside. I'm just going to smooth this out. And bend that down towards the middle. And then back up towards the right. I just want to give that hat brim a little bit of thickness. So we're just going to come up with a short line along the side. Just lightly trace that same curve along the top. Now 
and let's draw the back of the hat brim going in towards the side. Now I'm going to come back to the hat after you've drawn in the face. So start by adding some shape to the brow. And pull this in towards the edge of the nose bridge, coming down the sides. Let's add some thickness to the eyebrows. And we'll just darken up the inside. Now we're just going to add some more shape to the nose, starting along the bottom edge. I'm just going to lightly pull that up towards the sides and add some shape to the nostrils. I want to create a little bit of highlight inside the mustache. So right about here, we're just going to fade that out, go back up to the top, darken that up, and then just blend that down. Trace out that goatee in the center. And we'll darken up the top. Now I want to add a little bit of highlight along that center strip. So we'll darken up the outside and then just fade that in toward the middle. And we'll go back up to the top and just add some more detail to the eyes. Now that we finished tracing out the contours, we're going to go in and add some different values and shading. I want to start by darkening up the front edge of the hat brim. So I'll start from the left side. I'm using the flat edge of my pencil. So I'm going to go in. Just fade that out towards the center to create a little bit of a highlight. So we're going to just darken up the outside edge and then blend that in. Now to create consistent light and shadows, we want to position the light source in one direction. So we're going to bring the light coming down from the top left side of our page going across our character in an angle. So the highlights will sit on the top left side with the shadows along the bottom edge. Now with the hat, I'm just going to lightly shade this in with a very light shade going across. Do the same thing across the top. Now the shading doesn't have to be perfect. I want to draw the attention back towards the face. Now because the light's coming down in an angle this way, the top of the hat's going to cast a shadow across the hat brim. So from this point, let's angle this down and across. I'm just going to darken this up, going out towards the right. I 
I also want to create a little bit of highlight on the left side of the hat. Just going to darken this up a little bit and blend that out and go darker as it come in towards the center of the hat. I'm also going to fade that out towards the right side. I'm just going to add a little bit of a coarse shadow on the right. So I'm just going to darken up the center with a wide band of shadow and then just blend that out towards the sides. Now let's bring the emphasis back towards the face. We're going to start by adding some texture and volume to the hair. So we start from the very top, I'm just going to brush this down and then out. So adding a dark shadow across the top and some texture across the middle of the head. So just pulling some lines a little bit further. And doing the same thing on the right. Now from the bottom, we're just going to work our way back up. Now I'm creating a little bit of a highlight in the center of the hair. I want to go back and just darken up that whole area just underneath the head. So we start between the hair and the head and just fill that in. Now the hat's going to cast a shadow across the top of the face. I'm just going to shade this in dark along the top, above the eye, and then just fade that down. Bring that down just a little bit lower than the eye, across the center, and then the right side. I'm just going to darken up that area just on the right side of the nose. And along the side of the nose bridge, you just fade that down. And then blending that out towards the side, just underneath the eyes. Now the nose is going to cast a shadow in an angle, coming down. I'm just going to add a little rosy cheek on either side. Now, as we get closer to the end, I'll continue to add some more details and refine our shadows. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Guy Fox from V for Vendetta. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.
Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.